uh, assembling the cooler for your refrigerator. So the cooling unit here is called a Peltier and you don't want to touch either surface at all. You want it to stay perfectly clean. This side with the writing, this is the cold side. This side here that's blank, this is the hot side. You put it in backwards and you're going to build yourself a little oven, which is not ideal. So the hot side, we have this massive aluminium heat sink here, which distributes all the heat. And this is the one we're going to build up from. So place it down nice and flat. Then take this little H-shaped sticker. It doesn't matter which way the sticker is, up or down, so long as these two holes line up pretty well with these two big holes here. So you want them right in the middle of those. It's a little off, it's not gonna affect things, but you wanna get as close to perfect as possible. And again, we're not touching any of these surfaces that we're going to use for cooling. So peel the sticker off and line this up as well as you can with the holes, the center of the holes on either side. Press it down without touching the middle. And from this side, you can see the H from the other side. You can see that, that foam is perfectly in the middle of those holes, which is a really good job. So now this is ready for the Peltier. This is the hot side. So this chip is gonna go with the writing up. But before we put that on, we need to add what is called heat sink compound. There's a little tiny packet like this. This is the stuff that will transfer the heat. Without this, the heat will get stuck in the little module here and it will essentially just cook itself. So you get one tiny tube, which is enough for both sides. There's a side that's got a little tear out in it, which has actually got a little tube shaped ending. So squeeze all of the heat shrink compound, heat sink compound out of that tube, then open it. Now you want exactly half of the compound to come out onto this side. So squeeze onto it. Two tiny little smudges. Doesn't look like a lot. And there's probably about two smudges left in there. The other smudges we're gonna put in the center of, this, of the internal heat sink. This is the cold side. So again, put two smudges down, keep distributing it evenly between the two until the tube is exhausted. As I said, there's not a lot, but you don't need a lot. Get the last little bit out, down. Now we don't need to worry about spreading it. We're gonna use the heat sink, we're gonna use the Peltier device itself to spread this compound out. So put this one aside, place the Peltier on the spot where it belongs and then carefully using your fingernails in either corner to minimize the amount of dirt we put on, press it down and wiggle it. Just gently wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Like that really, really bad Red Foo song. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Once that's done, we place this one on top. Remember these holes need to line up with here. Place it on and just like we did with the bottom one, wiggle, 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 wiggle. You should see the Peltier moving around a little bit as well. And this will actually help spread it out underneath. Now, you shouldn't, you shouldn't take this off after you're done, but I'm going to just to show you what happened. You see it's all spread out nicely. That's going to create a really good contact. But every time you take it off, it's going to get worse. So now that I've done that, I'm going to need to re-wiggle everything. So once again, don't take it off once you put it on. Once that's on, wiggle it till it's aligned with those nice little holes. And then we need to secure it. So carefully flip the whole thing over. And from the front side, these two big holes, we'll get a plastic grommet pointing down. So the small end ends up in the hole. You may need to use a screwdriver to poke these in. So they sit in their little halves, one on either side, lob them in and line them up. Once they're in there, you get your bolt, followed by a spring washer, which is a little washer that's got a cut in one side. 
you see the cut. There's the cut. So the washer goes on, then a nice flat washer, which helps distribute the pressure evenly. That all goes together. And then somehow you mag magically get it into that hole without losing the nut, the washers. Then it should line up pretty well. Gently screw it down till it's started. Once it's started, move on to the other side. Again, bolt, spring washer, washer. Get it somehow into that hole without losing anything. I've done this once or twice. And then gently wind it down. Once you've got both started, you need to do them up until the spring washer goes flat and no more. So this spring washer is going round and round, but we'll watch that washer until it starts to flatten. You can see now it's almost flat. We'll go around once more and see how it's flattened? It's done. Same on the other side, round and round and round, just until that washer goes flat. Any more than that is just gonna bend things. And now we have a Peltier.